All right, what we have here is a 2002 Chevrolet Tahoe. No, this ain't no Silverado. Wish it was. It is a Tahoe. And disclaimer, before you go on, if I, I would suggest turning off this video and not watching it to the end because you'll probably get very little out of it. You'll probably get less than I get. All right, well, if you notice down here, there's a little, little thing down here. It's called a, a fixed D. Now, this little fixed D thing, you shove up inside that OB2 RD 3PO port in your car. You just shove it right up in there, and it tells you what's wrong, because this is what happens, okay? Now, this, you're going to be amazed, okay? Now, look at that, security. Security! You turn this bad boy on, start this thing. Oh, listen to those ponies purr. Oh, yeah. Dang it, poop and fart. Look at that. Engine service soon. Look at that. But as you'll notice, this thing, well, if I just put it like this, yeah, see, I've only got 206 miles on this thing. That's pretty dang amazing, especially for uh, a vintage uh, vehicle such as this. Um, and anyway, and for some reason, that's my nickname is Trip. Um, uh, they call me Trip, and so I had that uh, Chevy. Uh, they, they programmed that for me. They said, well, there's a man who likes Shelby, uh, you know, Silverados. And they said, uh, you better, you know, pretty much, uh, let, let's put your name on there. That's what they told me. So, hence they did. Anyway, so I ran that Fix D thing, and it, it tells me all the things I need to know. And I'm like, son of a dog biscuit. I got to fix this thing. So, anyway, let's turn this baby off. We can learn about this at another time. Oh yeah, see you use this thing here and uh, that pops your head. Uh, that, if you're gonna work on these things, that might be one of the first things you check out. Now, let's see, you put your hand under here. Now that used to be, um, that was the death of a bird right there. Uh, that's pretty sad, that was a parakeet. Well, I actually, I don't even know why I'm looking in here because it said something about my uh, evaporative emissions. I've heard about my evaporative emissions before, and I've had many complaints. Well, after it tells me about my evaporative emissions, and I realize, you know what, it's not every, it's not my fault that I like burritos. I realize that I got one problem. Oh yeah, look at this. It's the Laser Sport Edition. That means it's laser fast. Anyway, you don't just get these anywhere. And this color, it's a custom color. Uh, there's hardly any like it around. Um, it's a P, uh, P wetter or something like that. P wet, no. Poo, 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 poo tear. Anyway, anyway, I come down here and, and I don't know why I'm showing you the door. I, I know you guys really like a nice door shot right there. Anyway, I, I realized what had happened is that uh, with my fumigating of my emissions, it clicked that one day, about a month ago, I had totally screwed my vehicle up when I was working on it. I was, I was filling this thing up full of petrol. That's the fancy way to say uh, gasoline. And I remember, bam, look at that. I, this little dilly whopper right here, that thing in my jigger, it broke it off, okay? And I was like, and so I was like, dang, I guess I'm gonna have to do something. So I sit it on top of the gas uh, pumpering hitch. And after I did that, I forgot to uh, put it back on. Cause I got one of them found on the road deads and it don't even have a gas cap. I don't know what kind of witchery they're using there, but you know, Chevrolet might want to start figuring out how to put it on their vehicles. Maybe they could retrofit mine. I think that could be a recall. Anyway, so I realized I just, so since I have mental fortitude and aptitude and I'm mechanically inclination, I realized that I could probably fix this on my own. I don't need no stinking mechanic. And uh, anyway, so, all right, there we go. So let's see. Uh, oh yeah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm gonna shove this little hickey dilly whopper right in there. 
Now that's how you fix a fix when the fix D uh, car uh, probe thing that you stick in your OBD tube, uh, OB1 Kenobi port. When you stick that way up in that port right there. Anyway, I can tell you this. When it gave me the answer, what was wrong? It was a great thing. That's how I know I was a good mechanic. This thing right here, right there. Look at that. Fix D. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I pronounced it wrong. It's a uh, X Fix D. That thing saved the day. If it wasn't for that, I, who would have known how long it took me to figure this one out? Anyway, you guys have a good night. Now you guys know how to fix uh, one of these reports. So anyway, if you ever plug your your Fix D uh, thing in there, it's going to tell you to put on a new gas cap. And thank goodness I had this thing. I, I don't. I just don't know what I'd do. Oh, one last shot. Look at this, guys. Oh yeah, thing of beauty.